Uh, Jamie, last night in your lecture, you um, kind of talked about the connection between um, what we want and mm -hmm. what we worship. How does that help us explain um, idolatry or understand what yeah. idolatry is? Um, so let's set it up again, just using, I, I just think Augustine is a helpful framework, sure. here, right? So for Augustine, and he says this is true of every human being, by the way, right? Yes. This isn't just about religious people. Every human being is made to love, right? Every, you are what you love. Every human being loves, longs for, desires something ultimate. Mm -hmm. But because uh, he's framing in that way, what it also means is everybody worships. Right. Everybody devotes themselves to something or someone as if it were ultimate, right? Everybody gives themselves over to a way of life, a vision, uh, a story, uh, uh, um, a commitment that kind of defines them. So what you love is what you worship because that's where you look for worth. Mm -hmm. It's what you ascribe worth. And so for Augustine now, because the human beings are made by a creator and for that creator, mm -hmm. Um, where we find joy, where we find rest, is precisely when we give ourselves over to the one who gave himself for us. Mm -hmm. So now maybe the flip side is it helps us to explain idolatry. So what's, what's wrong with idolatry or why, why is this a joy inhibitor? Because what happens in idolatry now is it, it's false worship, but it's, it's false because in a way it's not true to who I am and what I'm made for. Right. So now what happens is I love other things. I devote myself to other things as if they could give me ultimate fulfillment and satisfaction. And, and in that sense, idolatry is just constantly going to be experienced as this frustration, this disappointment. Uh, because it can't measure up to those, well, what I need from it, mm -hmm. right? And no, no piece of creation, no facet of creation, whether it's power or sex or money or education or whatever it might be, all good things in and of themselves. Right. But if I sort of glom onto them as if they could be everything for me, if I love them in that way, if I devote myself to them in that way, actually what happens is they kind of, they become liquid and, and they don't they don't work. Right. And um, I, I hope that's a, a, a different way of thinking about idolatry than merely this kind of finger wagging. You've got the wrong God in your sights. Or, right. I mean, that's mm -hmm. it's true, but I, I want us to see why idolatry is just not good for us, right? right. Like and why it's not true mm -hmm. to who we are as human beings. Can I piggyback on that? Yeah, so I, I, one thing I think about Augustine's language of rest in terms of joy as Jamie's talking about, is it, when you think of how we are created mm. and the longings that we have for that creator, that um, when viewed in that framework, idolatry becomes, what am I longing to belong to, mm. Mm. which has not created me in that way, mm. right? Or I'm not created for that. So um, you get this vacuum, you get this hole of, um, the misdirection isn't isn't like a violation. It's it's an emptiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and for for Augustine, um, you know that joy is found in that wholeness mm -hmm. and in that rest. And I think that's a really rich way to think about joy.